Let's run the hurry up. What happened with Antonio Brown? Well, we don't exactly know what happened with Antonio Brown, but apparently a former employee of his, a personal chef, has told the Tampa Bay Times that Antonio Brown's been using a fake vaccine card, or at least that he procured one. So the team uh, insists that this is not the case. Brown's attorney says that he is vaccinated. The league says it is reviewing the matter. More to come on that story. In terms of more uh, normal football matters, <laughs> Kyler Murray uh, has missed the last couple games with an ankle injury, but he's been able to practice this week. There's some hope in Arizona that this will be the week he gets back on the field. I think if there's not a setback today or tomorrow, we can feel good about seeing Kyler Murray play on Sunday. And then in Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, remember he missed the game two weeks ago because he was in COVID protocols. He has been sitting out of practice because now of a toe injury. He has insisted that he will play and play through it, but obviously something to watch as the week goes along and as Green Bay's game in uh, Minnesota on Sunday gets going. And, and so as we bring this one out to the group here, I'm sure there are a lot of fans who will hear, was well, a toe. How, big, how significant an injury can a toe possibly be? Rob Nikovich, what's the answer to that? Very significant, and I can speak for myself having a toe issue. Three-point stance, yeah, getting off is really hard with a toe injury. Have you ever, Green, have you ever toe? If I've no, had no, a no, toe like, injury, don't be ridiculous. Know. RC, RC, <laughs> you've never had a toe issue. RC, you've ever had like a toe problem? No, I, never, I, I have never had a toe problem. I got real short toes, bro. It's hard to <laughs> hurt a stubby what? toe. Um, oh, so I'm the, supposed to wear like a size toes. 12, but based on my toes, I'm 10 and a half. No, I have beautiful <laughs> feet. They're just short toes, man. Like like uh, Vienna uh, sausages, kind of. Well, that's all I'm running say, about toe injuries. RC is not the foot model. Okay, uh, Let's but, please move on to the significance <laughs> of the injury. <laughs> I have more it's, it's significant. So for me, uh, having a toe injury, everything that you do, you're pushing off, especially as a quarterback. If it's his right foot, he has to push off to actually throw the football down the field. So he's going to need a couple weeks to recover so he's not going to get that he's not going to get that and he's going to be dealing with this all season but he's had it that's the thing he hasn't practiced in almost three weeks now because remember he had to he a sit couple out more. a couple right. weeks ago didn't practice last week while he's waiting to be cleared so he hasn't really so this is it. three weeks this is what I'm asking you Sacho yep. this is three weeks that Aaron Rodgers has not practiced because he got thrown out a bit thrown out taken out because of the COVID stuff before the practices began two weeks ago right. and he wasn't cleared till Saturday just reminding everyone and as Dan just told you he hasn't practiced this week how big a factor is that for him on Sunday it's not it's not a factor at all. This is this is Aaron Rodgers. Y'all y'all gotta understand. This is Aaron Rodgers. This is Aaron. Rodgers. Like I don't care if it's a toe, if it's a knee. I've seen this guy come get injured in, in the first quarter. We thought he was out for the game, and he came back in the fourth quarter, led his team to victory. Aaron Rodgers don't care about a toe, about a hand, about an arm, about a leg. This is Aaron Rodgers number one. Number two, practice, especially when it comes to November and December, isn't all that essential for players like Aaron Rodgers. Whether it's a superstar player, your starters on defense and on offense, oftentimes players will take days off. Not weeks, not months, but days. Aaron Rodgers is that good where this toe won't matter. And then lastly, his defense is going to carry him anyways. All right. Well, that, that's there's a lot to unpack in all that. But let me come to you, RC, on that. It, it, th no th practice for three weeks. The toe, however much of a factor that is. They ain't a little uh, – would you put them on upset alert this weekend against Minnesota? On upset alert? Nah, this is an upset lock, Greeny. I don't really – matter of fact – it's only an upset because of what we see the Minnesota Vikings record as. The Minnesota Vikings are a team that is better than their record. The Minnesota Vikings are a team that if not for a field goal missed in Arizona, they win that football game at that time against a team that was undefeated and playing the best football in the NFL. Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. This is one of the very few teams in the league with two number one wide receivers and an elite level running back. And when you look at what they can do defensively when you're not you know when you're not a team that wants to run the ball against them this defense can actually play well too I think that the Minnesota Vikings beat the Green Bay Packers and it's not Ooh. even about Aaron Rodgers toe it's about the Minnesota Vikings and the type of team that they could be and the fact that Aaron Rodgers is a 500 quarterback against Mike Zimmer coach defense is 7-7 and 1 I look at the Minnesota Vikings as a team that's a threat to get better as this season closes down become mm. a playoff team and actually make some noise and this could be the week that it starts against a division rival well let, let me add a little fuel to that we had a trivia question from Hembo earlier this week the Vikings are the only team in the NFL 
to lead every game they've played in this season by at least seven points at one point or another. Now, obviously, they've really? lost more of them than they've won, but they have they certainly have been in every game. It is also only a one and a half point spread. Green Bay is a one and a half point favorite. So this would not be a colossal upset if it happens. Doesn't sound to me like you're buying at all what he's selling, yeah. though, on the Green Bay losing this thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying it because all these stats and facts, they sound interesting, but at the end of the day, uh, Minnesota's found ways to lose these games that they've right. been up for whatever reason. And you're right, RC, Minnesota does have weapons off offensively, and I think it's going to be a close game, closer than a lot of people think. But at the end of the day, uh, if Aaron Rodgers isn't hitting on all cylinders, he can hand the ball off to Dylan, and Dylan can run that thing, even if Aaron Jones doesn't play. And so for me, Green Bay has different ways to win the game, and their defense, defense, defense can be one of those ways. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.